kubadaya. So brother Paul teaches justification as the grace of God to us. For if by one man's offense death reign by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one and Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift of, came upon all men unto justification of life. One man made everybody fall. One man makes everybody rise. It's between one man and one man. That's why there's nothing like Jesus is my personal savior. Which kind of personal? He's our savior. He didn't die for your personal sin. He died for our sins. Bible calls him the savior of the world. The savior. Exactly. So what are you personalizing there? <laughs> Praise God. I do not frustrate the grace of God. I thought somebody would shout down with me. So brother Paul teaches righteousness as the grace of God. Thus, we can safely affirm that the grace of God is seen in all that Christ did for humanity. Bringing justification, righteousness, forgiveness of sins, and therefore salvation to all men. All that Christ has done is embedded in the message of the gospel. This gospel is called the good news. And here is that good news that saves. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 4. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, which also you have received and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved. If you keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures the message of the gospel as we have seen in the earlier chapter is the death the burial the resurrection and consequently the ascension of jesus to the father's right hand it is worthy of note to observe that some historical records can tell you that he died the people who saw him die for example in israel knew he died they didn't need faith to believe this fact there is therefore no faith involved in knowing he died neither is there faith involved in knowing that he was buried what is paramount is that he rose from the dead he rose you will need faith to believe that you don't need faith to believe that jesus died just like other people have died you know even religious leaders Mahatma gandhi muhammad they're all dead just like jesus died so there's no big deal about dying no big deal about burial there's even a man they buried him with his homer they carry him put inside homer put on the ground in the night thieves came and removed the dead body took the homer they must have said idiot we were looking for a car to drive and put it inside ground it's no big deal. People die almost every day. Is it almost every day? In fact, people die every day. I, I should be saying every second. People die almost every second. It's no big deal about somebody dying. So cry, oh Jesus, you die, you die. It's not a big deal. People are dying. That's not the gospel. Oh Jesus, you are buried, buried, you are buried. That's no big deal. People are buried even today. The big deal is you rose. So when we hear the message, you don't cry. We rejoice. We rejoice because resurrection is good news. If I'm teaching, say I hear you. The message of Christ is the message of joy. It's the message of rejoicing. It's not the message of weeping. It's the message of celebration. And if we weep at all, let it be joy. Joyful tears. Tears of joy. That's why there is joy in heaven over one sinner that repents because the repentance of a sinner is a fruit of that salvation that the resurrection has provided. See, I hear. Yeah. Kayada. Kayada. First Corinthians 15, 14. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain and your faith is also vain. He didn't say if Christ did not die. He said if Christ be not risen. 15 yea and we have found false witnesses of god because we have testified of god that he raised up christ whom he raised not up if so be that he rise not i'm rounding up it is so crucial to realize that really the message of the gospel after the cross is in the resurrection of jesus 
this means that the good news of the gospel is not his death but his resurrection this must therefore be our focus in our preaching in our lifestyle in our testimony you walk around and declare i am a byproduct of his resurrection you walk around and say the grave could not keep him down the grave cannot keep me down you walk around and say the power that raised him from the dead dwells in my mortal body therefore cancer cannot stay here high blood pressure cannot survive here the power that raised christ from the dead is moving in my body you walk around and say by the power of resurrection that is functional in me whatever i touch must prosper anywhere i enter things must work i walk with the power of his resurrection teaching good here our lives are built on the power of his resurrection he that died died no more when he died i died when he rose i rose i die no more nothing dies in my hands hey. you didn't hear that one nothing dies in my hand and nothing dies in my body nothing dies nothing dies in my body my body is full of life he that has the son he has passed from death the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus has set me free from the law of sin i'm free